uh, network settings uh, Toshiba copiers so you need to log into your network settings on your Toshiba copier so you want to find the user functions right next to the number one or close by it user functions go to the screen you're going to see an admin tab click on admin click on the word password default password Toshiba copiers are one two three four five six and go ahead and log in now once you're here basically what you need to do is go into your network settings this icon will give you all your network settings and here you will find everything you need to know now if you need to log in through a web interface make sure the HTTP your a enable HTTP and enable SSL you don't have to have this on but the first option must be turned on if you want to be able to browse through a web interface so enable HTTP server that must be enabled so click OK here are your IP addresses settings so it gives you all the basic functions of the machine so you can also if you like you can ping from the copier if you like to ping and say the default gateway or server you can actually go to network check uh, do a menu input say you want to type in uh, just type in say the default gateway and you want to make sure you're able to ping uh, 182.168.1.1 let's see click OK and now I'm going to go ahead and try to ping that service and as you can tell it's giving me a destination hose Okay. as you can tell the transmission it, it fell because I do not have that default gateway uh, network is different but it will give you just as long uh, you type in the correct IP address you can actually ping from the copier if you're able to come out out of your network so so to troubleshoot this is an excellent way go ahead and troubleshoot your default gateway maybe a DNS uh, which is for the network check and that should help you out on troubleshooting your network settings and also how to configure your copier Toshiba copier for your network settings now another quick tip also if you could do uh, on your IPv4 you could actually default the machine to dynamic click on dynamic you can actually go OK then and then click apply now that basically does what it does it, then this particular machines are able able to pick up IP address addresses dynamically it will put your DNS settings on the machine too uh, whatever is on the network so once that's done you could go back in into the network settings through the admin mode IP address and then put it, set it back to static and make sure all your, your settings are correct click OK and apply and close and you're good to go so hopefully that will help you guys out to how to set up the Toshiba copier via the admin mode network settings thank you